What's up guys, my name is Mark and this is another Vintage Lens Review. The infamous Helios 44M 58mm f2. It's a Russian lens, but has German DNA. Even people who don't know much about vintage lenses have heard about the Helios, mostly because of its trademarked swirly bokeh. But it must have more going on for it than just that. So let's find out. This particular lens came attached to the Zenit EM 35mm film camera. Now the camera itself is FUBAR, but the Helios attached to it is in perfect working order. Clean, fungus free, and ready for a whole new life in the modern era. The Helios 44M 58mm f2's reputation can be traced all the way back to the German Zeiss Biotar 58mm f2. The Biotar was initially manufactured for cinema use and then adapted for the exact amount in 1936. But the formula reappeared post-war in the East German controlled Carl Zeiss Jena plant as the Carl Zeiss Jena 58mm f2 and was eventually rebranded by the Soviet Union as the Helios 44M we know today. Now for me, one of the coolest things about these old lenses is the history surrounding them. Backstory makes everything more interesting. The Helios build quality is incredibly solid in both feel and construction. It's made up mostly of metal with some hardened plastic components. Now, despite having plastic parts, the overall feeling is pretty great. Maybe not as good as my super multi-coated Tacomars, but still heavy and durable. It has a minimum focusing distance of 0.55 feet and an aperture range between F2 and F16, with half-stop clicks between F-stop markers. The focusing ring on this particular lens is fairly smooth, but firms up a bit near the minimum focusing distance. Now, this can probably be fixed with some grease, but I'm not 100% sure how to do that. Anybody know? Now, talking about a lens is always fun, but it's more fun to show you how it actually performs. So let's get the hell out of this place and into a place where the images can speak for themselves. As many of you guys know, if you're familiar with my lens reviews, I like to get out into the world to test these lenses. It gives me an excuse to go take some photos and hopefully gives you guys practical examples of how these lenses perform. The first thing that surprised me about this lens's imaging characteristics was, in fact, the focal length. The 58mm focal length is at the longest end of the defined 35mm standard, which ranges between 35 to 60mm. At 58mm on a full frame, the focal length does a nice job of isolating the subject in a cleaner way than the typical 50mm does. It's also got a naturally narrower depth of field and gives us a slightly tighter and more focused image. Yeah, it's the details like just blow me away how you guys can like, how you know what to put where. More than anything, I think it's like intuitive. Like there's definitely like with, uh, with faces, it's like, I mean, there's like a science obviously to paint a face, but yes. like otherwise like the colors and just like the flow, it's more just like how you feel. Oh, how you feel. Yeah. like the balance of like a line or like the color or like yeah just the shape in that like area and what it's doing that's cool perhaps the biggest reputation the helios 44m has is in the unique way it renders bokeh 
Wide open at f2, the 44M exhibits the signature bokeh swirl. The swirling characteristics is referred to as optical vignetting, meaning the out of focus bokeh balls become more ellipsoid as you move away from the center of the image. The swirl effect does need the right balance of distance between your subject and background to maximize its effect. At wide open, the Helios shows a slight loss of contrast and some pronounced vignetting. Closing down, of course, will sharpen this up considerably. And at 58 millimeters on a full frame, it limits its use of wide landscapes, but its sharpness corner to corner and decent resolution at or above f5.6 make it a perfect choice for general purpose photography. The center sharpness is actually excellent and the subject isolation between f2 and f4 make it a great choice for portrait work. Even in high contrast conditions, I don't really see a lot of chromatic aberrations, which I found surprising to be honest. The natural color rendition on the Helios has a bit of a cooler, muted palette. The natural contrast is softer as well, which can make for some flat and somewhat lifeless photos out of the camera. It's not really a huge issue with modern photo editing where you can play around with the contrast and saturation sliders, so I wouldn't really fuss over this too much, to be honest. I think one of the most alluring aspects of this lens is the price. Now, online prices can vary, but this lens continues to be one of the most affordable vintage lenses on the market right now, which I think is one of the biggest reasons it's so popular. Bottom line, the Helios 44M 58mm f2 is a reliable, cheap, and very robust lens that has an interesting personality and optical performance. Shooting photo or video, full frame or crop frame, this is a fantastic lens that can bring a lot of value to your work, especially at this price point. Now, I will be giving this lens away, plus a photo diox adapter mount. So check the link in the description to enter if you're interested. If you do enter, then leave a comment as to what camera body you have so I know what adapter to get the winner. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, what are your thoughts on the Helios? Any other Russian lenses I should try out? Suggestions appreciated. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Fun. Don't tell them I'm using a modern lens right now. It's bad for the brand. It's bad for the brand. <laughs> <laughs>